Namaste and welcome back to Rally Nepal. Today is the 8th of March and I am sitting in the village of Chaptok. So we finished trek five days ago, six days ago now, very successfully. Um, everyone went back to the training centre for changeover where we swapped around the groups and we had some training ready for the community phase. So everyone is now in their communities. We are in the lovely village of Chaptok um, and we've been here for four days now. So first two days were spent just kind of sorting everything out. So we arrived by bus, um, we organised our lovely shelter. So we have a shelter that is made of um, bamboo on the outside, um, covered with mud um, and a corrugated roof. Uh, we've got boys on one side, girls on the other side, and then a lovely little communal space in the middle. Um, we have a bench, which is, whew, no one has a bench in their shelter except us, so we're very, very lucky that we have a bench. Um, and we have a light bulb, again, small things, but they make all the difference. Um, so when we got here, we kind of put up our mosquito nets, um, organised all of our um, stuff, all of our rations, all of our equipment. Um, we did a tour of the village. So... Um, after kind of cleaning up and sorting everything out, we um, showed everyone around. So the way that the days tend to run is that we all have breakfast together at the shelter in the morning, which is often porridge. Um, then we go to the work site for around four hours in the morning. Then we go back for lunch and a small kind of siesta. It gets very, very hot here in the middle of the day. Um, so we don't really want to be working out in the midday sun. Um, and then we go to our host homes for lunch. Then after lunch, so after being with our host home for lunch in the afternoon, uh, we come back to the work sites in the afternoon, um, do around three and a half more hours work in the afternoon, uh, and then we have host homes for dinner. So that's kind of the structure of our days. And then behind me, we have site A, um, and they're doing an absolutely amazing job of digging the foundations. So, uh, I've mentioned Build Up Nepal before, they are the partner um, with whom we are working um, to build these amazing earthquake resistant houses. Um, so we were given these lovely manuals um, which kind of explain what it is that we're doing. Um, but of course we had Saswat and Ashish who are the two point of contacts for us from Build Up Nepal um, come in yesterday, um, or day before yesterday, sorry to actually train us and give us proper training and instruction on how we're going to be building these houses. So, without going into too much detail, I'm going to tell you briefly how it's done because it's absolutely incredible. Basically, everything that we do is very, very, very resourceful. So, we use nothing but sticks or pegs. Um, so, pegs like this with literally just a stick sharp at one end, some string, a measuring tape, some chalk and a set square or a right angle to actually calculate where we're going to be digging for the foundations. So we start off by tying string to the end of a peg and making one line uh, which is one side of the house um, and then we put in another peg at one corner so we're making a corner of the house um, and we calculate an exact right angle being as exact as we can um, given that we are just using string and measuring tape um, but we actually use Pythagoras theorem to calculate the right angle like the precise right angle and all of the venturers were so like crazy and bad and happy that they were actually using Pythagoras theorem which is something that we learn um, in GCSE maths um, and they're actually using it in real life to build foundations for a house in Nepal like everyone was so happy that they were actually using Pythagoras theorem um, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared I absolutely love maths so I was really really enjoying myself when we were doing this and then once all the strings have been tied and everything's exact, we then use a 75 meter, uh, sorry, 75 centimeter stick, exactly like this one, um, which is the width and the depth of the foundations. Um, and we use that stick um, to mark using chalk where we should be digging. So the string is the center line, and then we dig exactly um, 75 across and 75 centimeters down. So that is what we have been doing um, all of yesterday afternoon and all of today. And this is the result or the current result um, of all the work that we've been doing so far, which is absolutely incredible. Um, I looked at that this morning when we started working again and was like, that is literally like a day's work. And we've done so much already. We're very, very nearly there. They're just neating up the edges, um, making sure it's flat and we're doing the leveling as well. And then tomorrow we have Kieran who is a stone mason whose dad was a beneficiary of one of the houses um, 
that rally built in Chaptock last cycle. So Chaptock um, has been, um, rally has been working in Chaptock rather for three cycles, so three expeditions. Um, we have so far built three houses in the first cycle, three houses in the second cycle, and we are now building three uh, three houses during this cycle. So we have six completed rally houses, uh, which is amazing to see. So they're all kind of over that side of the village, um, and they're all finished. So we provide, or Build Up Nepal along with Rally will provide um, the foundations and the walls, um, but it's up to um, it's up to them to kind of finish it off with the roof, um, which takes a lot more skilled labour as well as all the fixing to things like doors and windows. Um, so we don't do that, but um, it's still amazing to see these finished houses. Um, when we came initially, they were just moving in or one of the families was just moving in. So they're kind of having a little housewarming party and they had music playing um, and it was really, really nice to see. They've actually written rally on some of the bricks on the wall as well, which is really lovely. Um, so yeah, so that is what we've been doing so far. I'm going to get my gloves back on, where are they? Here they are. Get my work gloves back on. Ooh. And get back to work. Get back to digging. My triceps are... I feel like they're going to be massive by the end of this. We're digging so much, my biceps are aching. It's a good ache. It's good ache. I feel like I'm working really hard. I don't think I've done proper labour work like this ever before in my life. So I'm really enjoying myself. 